Well, it is on a spring break, and I have been making her work in our house ever since she got here. So I said, let's take the day off and go visit the beach. And this is what we got going on. Are you excited to go to the beach, Anna? Uh-huh. Did you bring a, a, a para agua? No. Para agua is umbrella in Spanish. Para aguas. Para aguas. I never quite say anything right, so. Um, what are I we don't want your YouTube uh, followers to say that you say but, I mean, things wrong in Spanish. Para aguas. Oh, we're merging. So, hopefully this blows over quickly. We are in Palmas del Mar to go to see La Playa, the beach. And if this rain lets up, we'll show you what the beach looks like. Okay, it almost stopped raining and we were on our way to the beach and the police, I guess that was the Palmas del Mar police, just stopped us and what did they tell us? They said that we cannot access past a certain point on holidays or on the weekends because the residents of Palmas del Mar are complaining that um, people are going to their private beach area there's a part with there are trails and it's an observation tower where you can see you know the view of the of Palmas del Mar and the ocean and all that but we cannot access that okay so plan B where are we gonna go now I don't know maybe Manuabu and drive around that area maybe towards is the that, panoramic is Manuabu is that where the lighthouse is that we went to yeah Okay, maybe we go there and get lunch, and then mm -hmm. it stops raining, and then we'll go exploring. Mm -hmm. Vale? Vale. Como se dice, we have a plan. Tenemos un plan. Tenemos, tenemos un plan. Oh, speed bump. I got it. This is the road to Manuabo. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. It's a pretty drive up through here. It's a pretty nice road. Is this part of the scenic? thing you were telling me about? Yeah. What does the scenic thing tell us about? The panoramic, which are we talking about? The panoramic route. Panoramic route. Tell us about it. I don't know. There is a road that goes from the west to the east. I guess you can do it from the east to the west as well. And it starts in Maya West and it ends in Yabucoa, which is where we are right now, I think. Well, we just went through Yabucoa, so I guess it's over. No. Oh, going the other direction, you mean? Yes. So this is the we start will go. of it going the other way. Yes, going to the east to the west, but I think originally it starts on the west. You're supposed to do it from the west to the east, but it doesn't matter. So we're doing it backwards. Now we're going back down. I keep thinking there'll be nice views. These are the fish tacos in Puerto Rico. Calamari, these are nine dollars. Four of these big old fish tacos, twelve bucks. And the beach is right there. This house has the coolest bars of any house in Puerto Rico. 
They're shaped like spider webs. So the gate is locked to go to the Fado. So you go down around the fence. Watch out for wild animals. And some nice people just told us to just wind back around to get to the lighthouse. So there's the gate up there. I don't know why they make you walk around. It's more wild animals. And there it is. There's a road up there that if you go through the gate, you can walk on the road. It could be closed because it's a holiday or the weekend. Trying to cut down on people doing things. But this works. How you doing back there? Go ahead. Here is the view of the lighthouse from Playa Punta Tuna. Just got rained on a little bit. Just in case I screwed up the footage from the top. This is El Fado de Punta Tuna, the lighthouse of Punta Tuna, and this is Playa Punta Tuna, the Punta Tuna Beach. We just, there's a natural reserve that goes back down, there's a trail that goes back around through there, it looks like it goes by a lagoon, it's all protected back here, it's said it's a wetland. And the lighthouse was first built in 1892 and automated in 1989, and now stands derelict and empty. They are going to rebuild it soon. Oh, they're going to rebuild it. And there's an archway in the rocks right here that's a popular Instagram photo op. Somebody's hogging it. If you don't want to hike down to the beach of uh, Punta Tuna from the lighthouse, there's also a parking area on the side of the road before you get to the lighthouse. The lighthouse is the end of the road. We don't know how far this trail is, but we will update you when we arrive. Unless we run out of beer first. Here is a map of all the trails you can do. There's a big observation tower at the end. Represents it here. And I believe... Oh, we're, no, we're here. No? And we are lost again. <laughs> They're always no, perdidos. We are here. We are here. You're right. This is what That's we the did. That's the lighthouse. This is what we, the little trail that we started and we got a uh, good rain. So we weren't hiking to the beach when we thought we were. We were actually hiking to where we are now. We were also told by the guy doing my kitchen countertops that it's very dangerous swimming here, as the sign also represents. And there's a lot of turtles in this area. And it looks like there's a turtle nest right here. Um, yeah. It only took us like one minute to walk down to the beach from that parking lot. So if you want to bring your chairs or a cooler, it's very easy to walk down here with whatever Pokemon you want to bring. Yeah, we just saw a couple guys with their barbecue. There's a gazebo right back there that they were taking their barbecue under there to save it from the impending rain, which I don't know if it's going to rain or not, but 
There's a turtle nest. There's the lighthouse down there. A little bit different view from here. Here's an example of a guy who toted his Yeti cooler down to the beach 10 minutes walking and he can barely carry it. He needs a backpack cooler. That's how the backpack cooler was invented, the way he's carrying that right now. He has a strap around his head on his shoulder. Here we are in the steep skinny road again. Guess who picked our route? <laughs> At least we get to do it in the rain again. Oh, look, a campground. Maybe that's someone's yard. In 400 meters, <laughs> slight left. I bet it's somebody's yard who charges like 50 bucks a night if you want to put your tent. Uh -huh. Where are we? What is the name of this beach? Playa El Cocal. What did she say to do? Uh, straight. We're almost there. All these cars are going to the beach. For our people on the beach. Okay, a new beach for us. Bienvenido a Playa El Guano. Well, that's not exactly the same. That means the shit beach. Guano means shit, right? No. Bat guano means bat poop. What? Okay, I guess I'll find a parking spot. Aquí. Okay. Here we are. What's the name of this beach? Cocal. Playa Cocal. This is supposed to be a safer spot for swimming, as you can see the children playing in the water. There's a little gazebo over here, lots of parking. What? I was about to say. There's three more turtle nests over here, and apparently, this is a good beach for surfing, as we've seen several guys out on surfboards. That guy's got a boogie board. So this is a cool little spot. Bring your tent. They have two gazebos here. Playa Cocal. What? Playa El Cocal. Playa El Cocal. I don't know why I even tried to say any of the names. Okay. It's okay to correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just saying. And this black sand is Volcanico. Some of the beaches have more volcanic sand than others. It's cool with the cliffs over there. There's another little cliff right over there around this corner. Okay, well, that concludes our tour of the Manuabu. Did I say it right? No. Maunabu. Okay, that concludes <laughs> our tour of Maunabu. Um, beaches, lighthouse, right. restaurant. This is a cool area to explore. There are swimming beaches, not swimming beaches. So if you have not already subscribed to the How to Beach channel, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down there. And if you like this video, be sure you hit the like button. Anything else you want to tell them? Mm, no, the beaches were great. Well, yes, the beaches were great. And there is a natural reserve, which I think is uh, a great ad. And you are not focusing on my face, so I was uh, talking. I'm trying to drive up this road. <laughs> So and I don't ever know. You should redo this freaking thing, Jeff, because it looks horrible. <laughs> you were talking yeah. and the thing was mounting. Film was... yourself. No, I want to film myself. Say whatever you want to say. Wait a second. Yeah, talk. Okay, so this concludes today's adventures through the Manabo, Manabo area. Maunabo. Maunabo. We saw beaches, we saw lighthouses, we ate fish tacos, we had a couple medallas. It was a wonderful adventure, and now we're heading home. So, if you have found, so if you like this video, be sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing to the channel.
turn right. I'm going to turn right in 600 meters. Anything you would like to add, Anna? Subscribe to the channel. Okay, that's it. End of video. Say end of video again. Okay, that's it. End of video. Adios.